This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and today I'm going to show you how to set up custom collections or smart collections in Shopify. So smart collections allow you to put items into a collection automatically. So I have put some products in here but I haven't created collections yet. So if we go over here and we take a look at products on the left hand menu we're going to see I put in a few products into the store and on site if I have them in collections, it'll make it easy for me to connect them to navigation menus and things like that. And some of the things that uh, you can sort your collections by or create your collections by are the title, which is right here in the center, and the type or the vendor. Those are some of the easiest things to create collections from. Uh, the other thing that is very useful is using tags to create items uh, in or to put an item into a collection. So say for instance uh, I want to put every item that had a pine cone in it and this item is a necklace with a pine cone in it. I could put a pine cone as a tag and I could create a specific condition uh, that looked for pine cone. Now one thing I'm going to tell you about tags is now I'm just going to, once I finish typing this, I can either type comma or I can type enter and it's going to enter this. That's how you enter tags. The other thing to notice about this is uh, tags are case sensitive and I use what's called camel case which means I've capitalized the first letter and everything else is lower case. And because when Shopify sees a tag uh, if it says pinecone in all caps, it's recognized as something different than pinecone with a capital P or pinecone in all lowercase. They're recognized as two different tags. So just a little thing to know. So now let's go ahead and save this. And if I want to create a collection that just had items that are pinecone items, by default you're going to have a home page collection. Uh, so let's go ahead and just create a collection. And we're going to call this one Pinecone just to make it simple. So the only thing that's required is that I have a title and then I want to have some conditions. I always like to use automatically select products based on conditions rather than do manual collections. You can just add items right into a collection but uh, it's a lot cleaner and easier to remove items if you use what are called smart collections. So I could have done this by uh, the title, so I could have used anything that either had a title of equal to pinecone or something that just contained pinecone, started with, or ended with pinecone. But it's going to be just much easier on this case if I use a different condition. I can do it by type, vendor, so I could do everything by that's by a certain vendor, say it was Gucci. I could put everything into a Gucci collection if that vendor was equal to Gucci. Uh, I can create a banded price um, collection, so I like a collection that is items that are $1 to $10, for instance. Uh, I can do uh, items based on weight, but what I'm going to do is based on the product tag, which is the tag is what I put in. And I could uh, do is equal to, not equal to, less than, ends with, contains, but we're just going to do is equal to. That way we can have something very specific and finite. And you see pinecone starts to come up automatically. So I've created pinecone and I'm just saving that. And then once I save it, you're going to see the items that are in that collection come up at the bottom of this collection. So they'll be right here. And then at that time I can decide how I want to sort those items on the page on my website. So I could do it alphabetically, highest to lowest price, um, or I could do it manually. If I want to just uh, do it manually, if I have more than one item in a collection, I can drag them around. So I'm just going to save this uh, collection just the way it is. Uh, but I'm going to go create some other collections. So if we look at our products, let's go to products. Uh, so a good thing uh, might be to have a uh, bracelet collection. So anything that has the item type of bracelet, put it into that collection. So let's go, and you'll see on the left-hand menu there's products. We go down to collection, and we're going to create a collection. And we'll just call this bracelet. 
and then I'm just going to create conditions. So the condition is going to be product type in this case is equal to bracelet. And you see it starts to come up automatically. I must have two item types, one bracelet and one bracelets in there. So I'm just going to do bracelets just to bracelet. And this gets me, you'll see it starts to build a collection and here's all the items. Now they're sorted by best selling, but if I wanted to make them manual, this is where I can take these items and I can manually move them around. So if I want to put, let's just say I want the beginning of the page to be these two bracelets right here, you'll see that these are in the beginning of the collection when I when I start to, this is how it will be sorted on the page. So let's go ahead and save this. And so it's very simple to create a collection. Now if I go to collections, I'm going to see all the collections that I've created, pinecone and bracelet. And it will tell me what my conditions are for that as well. And I can have multiple conditions. So let's go to, let's just go preview the page. And on the page right now, I don't have any, um, I don't have any collections. Uh, listed here I have the featured collection which is just the home page collection uh, and I would have to connect this to an actual item and that just is pulling um, the home page collection is just randomly pulling uh, some items uh, for this so let me create uh, let's connect on my page I'm going to connect this theme which I'm using the deep debut theme, I'm going to connect the featured collection to my bracelets so I have more products here. So if I go back over to online store on the left hand menu and I go to customize my theme and then see here's my featured collection on the left hand side. So I'm going to want to show three products per row and then two rows of products. But I don't have that many products in this uh, homepage collection, so I'm going to choose the bracelets collection, which I now have available because I've created that collection. And you see that it creates six items. Now it's showing these items that I dragged to the top first, and this is how I manually sorted them. So now I have a featured collection on my homepage, and all I have to do is save this. And if I want to only show one row of items, I could just go one row and only show the first three items in the collection. And that would uh, actually help my page to load faster as well. So I might want to connect my navigation menus to collection as well. So let's go ahead and quickly create a navigation menu and just connect it to a collection. So up here on the top I'm just going to create a menu called bracelets and then I'm going to connect it to the bracelets collections. So let's go over back over here and let's go to navigation and then navigation uh, that's the main menu I was pointing at. I'll just show you here again. This is the main menu and I'm just going to go to the main menu I'm going to add a menu called bracelets. And then here's where I'll have the option to connect that. So if I want to connect it to a collection, I can connect it to the home page, the search page, a particular products page, or a particular page, or a blog. So I'm going to connect it to a collection. And then here's the collections I have available. Here's bracelets. And I can actually filter this by tags. So if I only want to show bracelets that had a certain tag, I could create a filter on that. And it would only show uh, bracelets, for instance, maybe I had a tag that said Sea Life bracelets. It would only show the Sea Life bracelets if I used a filter with tags. But that tag would have to match exactly as I had typed it in on the item. Remember, they're case sensitive. So I'm going to go ahead and add that and then save my menu. Now if I want this bracelets to be before the about us, I just put the little hand 
cursor over the top and I drag it up to the top. So I'm going to put it right in between home and bracelets. Now if I save this menu and then reload the page, we're going to see the bracelets menu. Here's my bracelets collection and then I click here and this shows me all my bracelets. And you can see that I've got um, looks like uh, eight bracelets per page. I could show more, but this is, comes down to my settings. And the reason I'm only showing eight bracelets, I could show up to 50 per page. That's the max in Shopify. But I'm showing uh, fewer and then using something called pagination. And the reason is that this page will load faster if I have fewer items on it. And then people can just scroll through. So I could I could change this setting to show more items, but it's probably going to take a little bit more time for the page to load. So that's pretty much all there is to creating collections and then connecting them to a navigation menu. Uh, I'm going to do a, another video uh, that is just about navigation menus and how to set those up and to use more sophisticated navigation menus and drop downs. I'm going to do a couple different navigation videos. One's going to be more sophisticated on how the theme affects the navigation menus, and one is going to be how to create drop downs and then uh, how the theme can affect whether you have sub menus or not. That's either going to be controlled by the theme or whether you're using an app to have sub menus. So uh, tune into my website. Uh, you can find links in the description of this video that link back to my website if you want to check out any of my blogs at pinehurstwebsites.com. And of course, you can subscribe and like this video. So thanks again for tuning in. This is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites.